Hi guys, so welcome back to our next 60 second tip. Today I'd like to talk to you about poison cues. One of the things that I hear from students, people all the time, is that my dog is stubborn, my dog is pig-headed. And they don't realize the role that their communication with their dog has to play in the dog's actions. I'll give you a, a little example. So your dog is outside and he's he's peeing and uh, after he's finished doing his business you go to call him in the dog comes to you no problem at all you go inside you just think you did a wonderful thing from a dog's point of view however he's now learned that when he comes to you he's, he's got to go in so the next time he goes out and he does his pee and you go to call him in he stops he looks at you and then he continues on. And a lot of owners say, oh, he's being so stubborn, he's being so pig-headed. It's not that the dog is being stubborn, it's not that the dog is being pig-headed. The dog has learned that coming to you means he's got to come in. All he's doing is he's stopping, he's looking at you and saying, I'm not quite ready to come in yet. I want to continue doing what I'm doing. So he goes back to doing what he's doing. That is an example of a poison cue. And people play into that all the time. Try not to do that. It's very hard to, to avoid it on a consistent basis because there's so many things that we want our dogs to do and we ask our dogs to do that maybe they, they don't want to do. Maybe it's inconvenient, maybe they're a little bit afraid of it or whatever. One of the ways to uh, combat against poison cues though is to take situations like that, practice them, and have a lot more cues like that where that are rewarded than that are poisoned. So I'll give you the same example. You want your dog to come when called every time? Make sure that if the dog goes out for 10 minutes, you're out there. You're calling him to, to you once every 30 seconds. Rewarding the living daylights out of him. So if he's out there for 10 minutes, you call him to you every 30 seconds, reward the daylights out of him. That means you have 20 recalls where you've rewarded them and released him to go back and do his thing before you got that one recall where you've brought him in. If you do little things like that, you'll find that your dog's compliance level will increase dramatically. It'll make for a much happier dog and it'll make for a much happier owner. Just try it. You'll see, you'll be glad that you did. Thank you for tuning in again today. If you like this, comment below. Hope to see you soon.